Hello Commanders, welcome back to another Elite Dangerous video with Commander Shin Akuma. In today's video we're going to talk about what I believe to be the quickest and most efficient way to kill the large variant Thargoids solo after Chapter 3. Now despite the fact the Thargoids have been in the game for well over 10 months now, up until recently I'd never fired a shot in anger against them, they'd never really interested me, but they are becoming more prominent in game so I've decided to take a look. Now there are some fantastically entertaining videos on YouTube, including people um, showing themselves killing Thargoids in 3 seconds, some doing it in 10 seconds, some doing it in under a minute. And I tried to replicate these methods with virtually no success. Turns out that after Chapter 3, the Thargoids have been given a little bit of a buff, so those 3 second methods are no longer viable. So we're going to take a look at what methods are viable. So let's start out by taking a look at what build I've chosen to achieve this. So the ship is of course the Anaconda. And let's start with a hard point. So I've gone for four class three shard cannons because we're going to be fighting these Thargoids at point blank range. They are the most important. Um, then I have gone for four fragmentation cannons. The large ones I've gone for um, double shot and multi servo for rapid fire, and I'll explain why later. And the large ones have gone for double shot and oversized because, in my head, they pack a bit more of a punch that way. I'll be straight up honest, I'm not really sure if they have any damage effect against Thargoids, but they do have one effect, so stay tuned. Utility mounts all shield boosters with high cap, um, with the exception of the Xeno scanner and the shutdown field. Core internal, nothing special there. I've not upgraded the armor. I probably should. I haven't yet. And then nothing unusual here. So um, overcharged power plants, um, dirty drive thrusters, increased range um, frame shift drive, and then of course um, power distributor, charge enhanced with the usual modifications. Nothing special there. And last but not least, optional internal, I have gone for the Prismatic Shield Generator, a 7A would do just as good a job. Again, high cap, because Thargoids do outright damage and ignore resistances. Um, fighter Hanger with two Lances, not overly bothered about those, they make a great distraction. But what you'll notice here is I've gone for a whole lot of module reinforcement over hull reinforcement. And now people might think that's a bit crazy. But the, this method is going to look to kill the Thargoid so quick that hull damage isn't really a problem. But you need to protect your modules because you need those to keep functioning. Right, so let's, um, let's get on with it and take a look at what I did. So the key to this method is to stay point blank with the Thargoid as absolute best you can. Um, and we're going to demonstrate how to do that as we go along. But uh, all battles should start out the same way. Get your Xeno scanner on and just keep your finger on that trigger. So it starts scanning the instant that the Thargoid comes into range. Then as soon as you've done that, you're going to flip over to your weapons and get a shot off as quickly as you humanly can. You want that Thargoid to turn around and watch you. Right, you'll notice I've set a timer going so we can time each of the three battles I'm going to demonstrate. Don't worry, they're not too long. Now, we haven't got off to the best of starts here because that Thargoid um, turned and moved away. And we need them to stay as still as possible. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try and keep within um, a thousand meters of him and just keep spamming the shit out of him with the weapons. Taking out each of the hearts as they appear, but... It's not super essential. It's ideal, but it's not essential. You're just gonna absolutely pound away on them as quickly as you can. So as you see, this Thargo is now making a run for it and I haven't accelerated with him um, as quickly as I'd like. I need to stay within a thousand meters. So this is what I was afraid of. I've let the Thargoid get too far away and now it's going to get locked into an AI pattern um, darting back and forth at incredible speeds um, far faster than I can match. Um, 
So although I am going to win this battle, I'm not going to win it as quickly as I'd like, but it is my own fault. Again, for this size, they're way more maneuverable than me, and I'm just struggling to keep up and keep the short range weapons on target. Again, I'm entirely ignoring the swarm. We're not going to be in this battle long enough for the swarm to do any type of um, meaningful damage. It's almost like they know if you get point blank with them, they're screwed. So they, they purposely stay away. Shut up, fighter. Shouldn't be such a shit pilot then. Again, this is as much my fault for um for not getting close to the Thargoid, but again this was my first battle using this method so I'm, I'm sounding out the method, learning as I go. No one starts off perfect. Okay, so I've lost my shield so I need to um, need to get a wriggle on, so I'm going to get a fighter out there just to um, add another target. They're not fighters, almost useless. All I want is them something else to shoot at. Just firing out of frustration now. Um, I can see full well that I'm not actually hitting anything. I don't know it yet, but at this time the key is to get three or four consecutive shots in on them, and that will cause them to stop and have a have a think. So it's about to deploy his shutdown field here, but of course I get real lucky and land um, land a couple of good shots, and boom, he's gone. At five minutes and thirty-three seconds, it's not not really a bad um, a bad time for an absolute novice killing thargoids. So the the method is sound, the weapons are sound. It's just the problem is between the the keyboard and the seat. So this is in fact my third battle, um, I'm only going to show um, two, I said three but I don't really want this video to run much longer than ten minutes. So all battles start out the same way, so I've deployed the fighter off the bat, um, that's a learning from the first video that I didn't do. I'm simply going to sit here and I'm going to wait for that Thargoid to get close with my finger on the Xeno scanner so it starts scanning as hum quickly as is humanly possible. And again, we're going to start a timer from the first shot to the last shot and see how long it takes. 
So here we go. So starting off by just pounding him the life out of him, taking advantage to shoot these hearts as and when they appear. And the key here is to keep him again as still as possible by keeping close and keeping him under fire. The second he gets a bit of leeway, he's going to run off into that pattern that's going to make him exceptionally difficult to kill. Now, a lot of people panic when they get caught in these um, in, in these energy beams, but for me it's an ideal time to pound the shit out of them. It's not having too much of an effect on my shields, and I've managed to take out another one of the hearts and really, really damage his hull. Again, trying to keep maximum hull damage whilst targeting those hearts where I can whilst not letting him get too far away it's got a little bit further than I would have liked Accidentally retracted my hard points there, mashing buttons, and I've let him, um, I've let him go into this pattern, which is an absolute pain in the ass. So I'm going to get this fighter out there to try and um, put a second target on the board. not going to issue any order to the fighters, I'm just um, going to leave it do its thing. Again, damage is not the objective there, just putting two targets on the board. And two minutes and 19 seconds after we fired the first shot, we have one dead Thargoid. He hasn't even managed to take down our shields and we've still got the vast majority of our hull left. So there you have it, that's what I believe to be the most efficient way to take down a large variant Thargoid solo after patch 3. It definitely works on Interceptors, Cyclops and Basilisk. I'll be completely honest, I haven't tried against Medusa yet and I haven't faced a Hydra yet either. I hope you found this video useful, um, perhaps if you're going on the Gnosis out to the Cone Sector it might come in useful, it might save your skin, but if not, um, perhaps something to consider once you get back to the bubble. If you have enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I have now set up a Patreon as per request for those people who choose to contribute to my work to help me keep on producing these videos. Anyway, thanks for watching this evening and I'll see you guys around.